high risk. Basically has two functions. One is uh, insulin secretion for regulation of blood glucose. And the uh, second function is what we call an exocrine function, where it secretes digestive enzymes, which help in absorption of food. The most frequent uh, symptom that patients get that alert us to a cancer is obstructive jaundice. Their skin turns yellow, the whites of their eyes become yellow, and that alerts us to a cancer if it happens to be in that portion of the pancreas where the bile duct runs through the pancreas. So <clears throat> some other non you know, some more vague symptoms such as unexplained uh, abdominal pain, weight loss of greater than 10%, um, onset of diabetes without any predisposing factors. Those are some other signs which may alert us to pancreatic cancer, but probably the main one is still obstructive jaundice. Patients are presented to a variety of experts that treat them, including surgical oncologists, medical oncologists, and radiation oncologists. The mainstay of treatment, however, is surgery. Then once uh, hopefully a successful surgical procedure has been performed and the tumor can be removed. Patients have improved survival with the addition of radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Whipple procedure is probably the most common procedure we perform for pancreatic cancer. And those, it's basically removal of the head of the pancreas which has the bile duct. And we're finding the cancers earlier in that area because if they obstruct the bile duct early Frequently, they have not grown to a size or are spread outside the field where we can remove them surgically. As far as other technologies, basically the technology in the hospital, the advanced CT scanners, the advanced endoscopic ultrasound uh, procedures done by my colleagues and GI. Uh, it involves a whole team of people with critical care specialists, anesthesiologists, and um, the nurses that are used to taking care of these you know, pretty critically ill patients at times. So it's a whole team approach, and uh, fortunately we have a, good, a great team in place at St. Joseph's Candler. Even though um, the prognosis is not great with pancreatic cancer, it's improving every year. Uh, I think we're diagnosis, diagnosing the tumors earlier. Uh, I think our surgical results are better. I think our adjuvant treatments such as radiation therapy and chemotherapy are better and hopefully uh, genetics will play a role in the future to uh, even let us intervene earlier than we are today.